As part of the Liverpool Overhead Railway project, uh, I've uh, made some models which will be part of the extensive range of docks that uh, we'll be uh, displaying, putting into our route. And this is the first of the of these that I've done. This is the dock wall. And um, if I put it into a height of 10 meters, give you an idea of what it looks like. So this is a standard spline that um, will uh, reproduce, will bend, all the rest of it. I'm just setting it up there so you can see there's quite a curve on it there. But um, what I've tried to do is to, I just want to eliminate that section if I can. Maybe I can't. Um, delete spline let's go back to undo there we are okay so um, I was clicking on the wrong part of the spine so what I've done is I've created this dot wall as you can see it's a repeating texture but I've also produced uh, some angles some corners and you can see them up here dot wall this is the first of us of a number of different types visual visually different dot dot walls to be used so what you would do is um, these come in at when you load them up they're down at ground level and the idea is of course is that you reduce the ground on the inside of the dock down to the level of the bottom of the dock but I'm just bringing these up above ground level just to show you uh, what they look like so if I lift this one up to uh, what were we doing 11 12 meters high 10 oh well there you are um so if we lift these up to 10 meters high up take that down mark. go down there we are so this is a 45 degree inner curve and it's set as fixed track so you simply bring in your uh, dock spline and let's move that up to 10 meters and as i say i'm doing this in order to demonstrate the uh, dock walls as they are at the moment and um, the uh, textures so far I, um, are a little light they are looking a little uh, bright in train so I might uh, darken those a bit but it's just to give you an idea of what's going to be available these aren't released yet but they will be in due course uh, probably by the end of July, August 2020. So that's an inner 45 degree curve. And if we have a look at the inner 90 degree curve, and let's lift that one up to 10 meters above ground level. The reason why I'm setting them at ground level is so that you would tend to use the ground as the level of the uh, dock, uh, this part of the dock where the cranes and the tracks and everything is, and then you lower it down for the shipping. And you'll see that in a minute because Bob has already been experimenting with this and has come up with um, some nice screenshots which are, I'll bring up at the end of this video. So let's just bring these up as well. Move this up. And what I've tried to do with this <coughs> dock wall is to make a modular dock system I'm sure there are others on trains but I just want to do my own so that uh, we can produce a large number of docks relatively straightforwardly so this is the outer 90 degree outer and so if we add some splines to that let's just give that the height and move it over it'll click yeah, the only thing that doesn't happen is that the these sections don't click together so let's make another one over here you just got to make sure of course that they're the right way around click it over and this gives you the uh, so that was in a 90 degrees this is the outer 90 degrees there we are and then just I suppose just to, for completeness I've got a an outer 45 degrees you can make most of the shapes of docks with these basic uh, angles and if um, when Bob and I are working on this we come across 
some that are a little bit more uh, well let's say uh, you um, specialized unique I'm not quite sure what to call them um, individual and that's a good word then uh, we'll uh, produce more angles different angles but I found at the moment that uh, you can do a surprising variety of dock shapes and of course you've got the bendable aspect of the spline if you want it as well that'll give you shallow or sub 45 degree or, or over 90 degree um, and of course if you put a 90 next to a 45 they won't click together but you can easily join them you know put the position them side by side then that of course gives you 135 degrees so frankly I think there's quite a lot of flexibility in this and the other one that I've done is a 90 degree square a square end as it were for a dock well, almost square because I've given it a nice little curve there quite like that let's just give ourselves another bit of dock there we are <coughs> connect that up and then set the height and you can see from these few elements of spline and fixed track elements uh, we can have quite a few different uh, dock layouts and these are cobbles on the top and there will be a texture ground texture to go with those cobbles uh, as well so as to uh, if you've got a wider area of cover you can blend it in but um, so let's have a look at, at Bob has already sent me has had a quick go just to give us an idea and has sent me some screenshots so let's have a look at those so there's one with the livable overhead on top some bonded warehouses and some of my warehouses over there um, showing the well it's actually a British Rail pug but it should be a Mersey Docks and Harbour board and will be eventually when we uh, get round to those sort of things um, traveling along underneath the Liverpool overhead so this is why the Liverpool overhead was overhead to allow for the dock lines to run underneath and then here's one of the his Bob's first just a first look really just to check out the um, just to check out the yeah I was trying to turn that around <laughs> of course it's an image um, so uh, just to see how it looks alongside um, one of the dock stations this is Huskisson dock uh, I think everything in this apart from this texture here is something that I've done so this is my tramp steamer the SS Pacific and it's making smoke so I'll have to produce a version without smoke these are my this is a spline of my warehouses we're going to produce quite a few varieties of these and of course there were additional parts that I released which um, which I've released which by which you can make these more individual but it's just a quick go just to see how it looks Bob said he's going to darken of course darken up the base it's a bit too pristine at the moment um, but you can see the ship there setting through so really it should be a lot murkier grey dirty green grey green whatever but that's all to come and there we are the view so you can see here we're just testing it out the view from Huskisson Dock Station Liverpool Overhead Railway here this is in Surveyor because we've got the platform names appearing and um, ship and so this is our, just our first quick look at these dock uh, components so I hope that's going to be of interest so they will be on my website in due course uh, give it a month or so we're going to experiment with these I, I really do think I'm going to need to darken that part of the texture at least if not the cobbles uh, I think it's too bright as it is at the moment um, a bit too clear I mean, it's, it's green and all that but it needs to be emphasized a bit so there we are that gives you an idea of uh, where we are on the docks for the Liverpool overhead railway and we've got a lot of them to make so we're going to have plenty of fun doing that so i hope you've enjoyed that video and i hope that uh, you'll download my dot components dot wall etc when they're released probably what's, what's where are we at the moment 29th of june i would say during august 2020 uh, something to look out for but maybe sooner it just depends how I get on with it so there we are docs if you've got any queries any questions any offers to make lots more different warehouses and all the many buildings that are at the back uh, the city side of the uh, of the Liverpool overhead railway um, or you want to make some ships they're not difficult to do 
uh, they do take a bit of time but you know you just plot away you can really fill up a basin full of ships so there we are latest update on the Liverpool overhead and now we are beginning to go into the docks